What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans. If you're new, hello, welcome. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are opening up some boxes from Portland Leather Goods. I have never ordered from Portland Leather Goods before. They actually reached out to me asking if I'd be interested in trying a product and sharing it on my YouTube channel, giving my first impressions. And I've actually been receiving a lot of inquiries like this from companies, and I've said no to 99% of them because I just don't have time and I don't wanna show something on my channel that I'm not, that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to love. I also, I hesitate to put things on my channel from companies that I wouldn't personally purchase from, right? So when they reached out to me and I looked over their website, I was like, yes, this is a collab I'm interested in. I'd love to see what they're all about and I would love to share them with my subscribers. So that's what we're doing today. I have two boxes to open. One of them they sent me, this is a mystery bag, a mystery or mystery box of bags. It is the two mini crossbody mystery bag that also comes with six littles, which is what they call their smaller accessory type items. And then I put my money where my mouth is and I purchased myself a tote bag because actually the more I was looking at the website, the more I realized I need a tote bag. I need a mom bag when I don't want to carry a diaper bag like a backpack and I want like a tote bag and then I also need a bag that I can take with me to and from work on the days I work from campus I have a hybrid schedule and so I've been using a Trader Joe's canvas bag for my laptop and like my lunch and stuff and I was like you know treat yourself so I did and I purchased a tote bag so we are going to open up these two boxes I am not an expert on Portland leather, but I hope to be because based on what I'm seeing from the, we're going to open um, the purchased box first, the, the tote bag. Um, what I'm seeing from the Portland leather company and from their community on it, uh, Facebook, I, I really like, I care about how a company treats, um, it's customers and I have seen in the Facebook group the way that yeah just the way that the company is and I really like respect them so I hope that this is not the first you hear me or the first or the last <laughs> this is the first I hope this is not the last time you hear me talk about uh, Portland leather here on my channel because I'm I'm like already sold and I haven't even touched a bag yet that's when you know a company is good, is really good. So we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna try to turn things. So normally I, I film face down or camera facing down, but I'd rather have you guys see my impression. So here is the box. I'm gonna try to turn this. Here you can see it is a large tote. We've got a thank you postcard, Portland leather. Fun fact for you. Let's see if I can multitask talking at the same, this is gonna be a chatty unboxing. Um, my husband and I moved to Austin, Texas from Seattle. I lived in Seattle for 16, 18 years, something like that. I moved from California to Seattle for school, stayed there for a long time, met Josh, got married, and then we moved to Austin. And I actually am planning to go up to Seattle for, <sighs> everyone talks about the way a bag smells when you open the box. They're not wrong. Oh my gosh. Um, so I'm planning to go, I turned 40 in June. Whoop, whoop. I know I don't look a day over 40, right? Um, oh my gosh. I am hoping when I go to see, I told Josh, I'm like, presuming I like these bags, when we go up in June, let's go to the storefront. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I purchased the Nutmeg Large Tote without the zipper because it, normally I would think I'm a zippered person in theory. I like the idea of a zipper because it keeps things like enclosed. But when it comes to a tote bag, I really like to just throw stuff in. So hold on, give me a moment. I'm gonna stop talking just so I can look at this. We'll just... We'll just do this. We'll clean the office later. Oh. oh my gosh. This is probably the nicest bag 
I've ever seen and certainly the nicest bag I have. I'm turning 40 and I'm getting to this place in my life. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm getting to this place in my life where I don't want to have a large collection of bad quality things. I would rather purchase nice, more expensive, but will last my lifetime, like heritage type pieces. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, let's talk about it. <gasps> this color was perfect for me. I love a good brown. Okay, so this is nutmeg. We've got some brown handles, kind of a antiqued brass hardware. Oh my gosh. Big pocket right here. I'm curious. I don't have my um, my iPad within stretch distance or reach distance, but I think my iPad would fit in here. And then let's see if we can get inside, see what this looks like. I'll probably, you know, put out some reels over on Instagram with does it fit uh, a theme to it. But look at that. It's unfinished on the inside, which I love. I love that it's raw on the inside. This guy's got a little pocket here for pens, pencils, your cell phone. Um, and then look, I mean, it's just badass. Can I say that on my channel? I just did. Let's see if we can focus. There is your Portland leather tag. <gasps> and even this, like, I don't know if I was expecting this, but when you rotate it, you've got a little clip here for your keys so they don't get lost. Because when you have a tote as big as this, you have to find ways to keep things organized or your keys are going to get lost. Oh my gosh, this bag is perfect. It is perfect. Now, I joined the Facebook Insiders group for Portland Leather. If you're interested in Portland Leather, join the fa Facebook group because, oh my goodness, the wealth of knowledge from patrons of this business. Oh my goodness. There are all kinds of tips and tricks for how to soften your leather, how to dye your leather if you wanna change the color, how to add more texture to it by flipping it, flipping it inside out. I wonder if that flipping method works for something that's pebbled. But this is nutmeg and it is a pebbled leather. Can you guys, it's not focusing, there you go. You can see it's got a lot of texture to it. <gasps> Now, I am a plus size woman with a big chest, and I love the size of these straps. Let me just here, we'll just lift up so you guys can see. This fits right in really well. Oh my gosh. Right into the nook and crannies of my arms. I love it. Very happy with this size as well. You know, I thought a large was going to be large, but I wouldn't consider this too large. This comes in an oversize that probably would be a lot larger. Um, but yeah, that is the large. And it sits up really well. Check out the base with those seams. That sits really nicely. It is floppy, but I know that when it has stuff in it, it's gonna sit, it's gonna sit up just fine because of that base. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad I bought this. I treated myself. I love it. Absolutely love it. Already we have a problem. Okay, friends, let's get into the box that Portland Leather sent me. This is a mystery box. So there are a lot of different mystery box options. You can get a mystery tote where you don't know what the tote is. Uh, you can do a tote with littles. You can do multiple totes with littles. And then they have crossbody bags. And you can do mini. You could do medium. And those ones also can be just the bag or they can be with these littles. I have no no idea what is going to be inside. We're gonna open it up together. Here, should we do, do this? I want you guys to experience this with me. Uh, I have really loved looking at the Facebook group because people will post what was in their mystery boxes and it gives you an idea, but I don't know if every box is different or the same or what, and so you just, you don't know what you're gonna get even if you see pictures online. So, and it's wrapped, so I don't know yet. Um, should I say what I'm hoping for? Maybe I shouldn't because I don't want it to, I don't want you guys to think I'm unhappy, but um, I would love a fun color and a brown. I would love like a mix of both if possible, but we'll see. So we have the thank you card. And one thing that I didn't notice about this, they have a Spotify playlist. That's actually really cool. So on the thank you card, we've got information about like reaching out to them if we need customer support. 
And then there's a playlist, a Spotify playlist. That's cool. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. We're gonna grab the first one. Oh my gosh, I see a hint of hue on that bag. And if it's what I think it is, I'm going to be very, very happy. Okay. I haven't looked yet. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this color? Okay, it's we've got a pebbled bag. This is definitely not pink and not purple. I'm sure if you are a Portland leather person, you will know right away what this color is, but it is very soft. It is, again, a pink purpley color, and it's a really nice size. I thought the mini crossbody would be small, but looking at it, that's actually a very good size bag. Like that is a good carry all everyday bag. It's got, again, the antique, um, antique brass buttons. And let's see, there's your crossbody strap. I noticed on the website, they have um, strap extenders. So if you want to make your bag a little bit longer, you can do that. I like a long bag. Um, again, I have more body, so I like it to still drop and hang over my chest. And so an extender might be a good idea, but oh my goodness, that's really pretty. <gasps> are there items? There are items in here, so I'm going to, and they're wrapped. So we're gonna take these out. Should we open the littles? Or should we open the other bag? Well, this one had, I think, one little in it. Two littles? I can't tell. So littles are smaller accessory items. And this feels like a large accessory item. So we're opening it. Try to do this for you guys to see. They wrap everything super well. Oh my goodness. Very, very well. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, that feels like a like a keychain or something. It fell out, but it's still wrapped. All right, we have one, two, we have three things here. Let's open this one. It's like Christmas. <gasps> this color! Yay! Yeah. I was really, really hoping for a tassel in this box. I knew that that was an option. Come on, focus, friends. Focus. Oh my goodness. I was hoping for a keychain key or a tassel or something. And this, honestly, this kind of sagey green is one of my favorite colors of all time. Green is my favorite color. I'll just say that. So, oh my gosh, I love this. So here's one of, I think, eight littles. This looks like it might map. No, it's a different color. What's this? We have, oh, this is really soft. This is cool. It's just a pouch. So you could put anything in here. You could put stickers if you're a planner. You could put money. You could put put a checkbook, receipts. What color is this? It's not, well, for comparison's sake, let me just show you. This is the bag, and then this is the envelope. So totally different colors. We're getting a variety here. This is a really nice leather. I would say this color is like tomato. I don't think that's a color on their website, but definitely in the colorway or um, color vibe of like a tomato. <gasps> so far, let me just say the leather feels so good. The stitching quality looks so good. I already feel like, yeah. This is amazing. I will say this one, this bag, looks like it's probably considered an almost perfect. So on their website, they have items for kind of a premium price that's kind of like the creme de la creme. And then you can buy items that are almost perfect. And the mystery boxes have quality, the um, premium quality, and then they also have the almost perfect. And the almost perfect might just have like a little extra something something on the leather and that's going to be unique to the cow right which i will say i love to hear that they source their hides from the beef industry so these you know they're using all of the cow if that's a thing for you if that's something that you're concerned about so this would probably could be considered almost perfect because if you look at the pebbling here there's well more of it and then down here it's it's smooth so the pocket is almost smoother. I don't know if you can tell, 
me make sure y'all are focused here. But the texture is a little bit different. Something like this is to be expected with leather because all cows are different. They all come in different shapes and sizes just like we do. They have scars and stretch marks and all of those things. So something like this doesn't bother me. I kind of like the look of different textures. Um, but just wanted to say that as I'm looking at these items. <gasps> this is sexy. I love these rich browns. Look at this. So cool. Now, this one I've seen people talk about in the Facebook group, and I think it's called an Adriana. I should have grabbed my iPad so I could look things up as we go. I don't know what the color of this is. If I can look it up, I will um, I will include that in the description box. But we have a nice wristlet wallet, and that's nice. That is really nice. It's a smooth, really stiff leather. Wow. I can't believe all this comes in a mystery box. So we have our cross body bag so far. We have the wallet. We have the pocket wallet. And my favorite of the littles, I think, is this little tassel. Okay. What did I say I was hoping for, you guys? Like a neutrally brown bag and a color. What? This is beautiful. So this is a smooth leather. Again, I don't know what the colors are because I am not an expert at Portland leather yet. Um, maybe this is honey? Because if we compare it to, shall we do a little comparison? Let's compare it to ugh, nutmeg. So. Nutmeg has paper everywhere. Nutmeg has that pebbled, soft, squishy, um, pebbled finish. And then I think this is honey. It's got a little bit more of a smooth, uh, more rigid um, texture to it. And this looks perfect to me. This looks like a premium bag. I don't see any scratches or um, imperfections on the leather at all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. So you have the front pocket and then let's open this little lady up. Here is our strap so we can see what it looks like with that strap. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking sexy. It's so sexy. And then we have more littles inside. Let's see what the inside of the bag looks like. It is same old, same old. We've just got a raw interior. This side or this size does not have a pocket. Kind of surprised. I think I was expecting an interior pocket, but that's okay. I also like this one does, you know what? I didn't check this with the other one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm doing a terrible job. Again, new to Portland leather. Um, so this one, no pocket and it's got a snap closure. Snap closure on this one. So you just snap it. And then I hope you guys are bearing with me. This is all new. This is all new to me. This one has a zipper. So let me open this up. I can see if I go down the rabbit hole of Portland leather, I could see why the pebbled finish might be nicer for the zipper. And then the more kind of stiffer leather being good for the snap closure. Because this adds a little bit more structure to the bag. So this purple, purpley pinky color does have a zipper and it works great. Love the little tab. And it's a nice, like thick, sturdy zipper. Okay, so that was a detail that I did not point out on this one. <gasps> We're just playing, friends. We're just playing. So here are the two mini crossbody bags. They are so different. I love that this one has a different toned stitching, so a, a du duotone um, stitching. And then this has a more monochromatic stitching where it matches the color of the bag. 
This one, I think, is one that I've seen people do different stains and dyes with it. People have flipped it so they create more texture with these um, with these stiffer bags. Okay, so let's see what we got in the littles. I'm kind of hoping for an Eclipse makeup bag or a makeup bag of any kind, utility bag, whatever, because um, I think that would have a lot of function in my large totes. Let's see. Oh my goodness, all these things falling out. Ah, I can see it, look. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I love this. <gasps> yes. So, um, Portland Leather, if you're watching this, one little pet peeve I have with your website is there's no wish, wish list. And I have been adding items to my shopping cart and one of them was this um this shape bag i think this is uh an eclipse bag i added an eclipse bag to my shopping cart and kind of hoping my cart doesn't expire but that i really want one of these it was like on my wish list and uh to have one and to have it in such a bright color oh my gosh i love it it is pebbled but it kind of smooth too um I don't know how to describe it, but definitely less, that feels different than the nutmeg. Um, a little bit stiffer still. But having a different colored bag to throw in my nutmeg will make this so much easier to find. Things that I might wanna put in here, honestly, probably baby related stuff or um, lady business related stuff. Let me catch my, my drift there. All right, next we have a little wallet. This is a little card wallet in a nice stiff brown color. Let's see how this compares. It's not pebbled, so we know it's not that nutmeg. And it is darker than the crossbody. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff on my desk right now. So we have the card holder. And actually, it is a different color than this wallet as well. So lots of brown options. And then we have, oh my gosh, this is so fun. We have a bright violet luggage tag. I do use luggage tags when I travel and I'm very happy to have this. Okay, enough of the yapping. Let's do a rundown of everything that I received in my mystery box. Again, this was the two mini crossbody bags and six littles. The first crossbody is this beautiful gem with a snap closure. Then we have this one. It's more of a pebbled leather and it's in a purpley pink tone with a zipper closure. Also that mini crossbody size. We have this turquoise eclipse bag. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. This is a really beautiful color. Then we have a, I'm calling it tomato, but I know it's not tomato. Uh, little envelope clutch a card holder, mini card holder wallet. So it's Portland leather goods embossed on it. A violet luggage tag. A beautiful sagey green tassel or keychain. This, honestly, yeah, this is gonna look so sexy. So sexy, oh, I can't handle it, so cute. And then we have the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, I think this is, this is the only one I can remember, the Adriana pouch or clutch. And then, so that was the mystery bag. And then I picked myself up this large nutmeg tote. Gosh, it smells so good. If you guys have any questions about Portland leather goods, please leave them down below. I will do my best to answer. I am not an expert at Portland Leather Goods, but I sure hope to be soon. Uh, I'm a new fan. I'm into it. I'm here for it. I need to work on that wish list. You only turn 40 once, you guys. So I'm going to go all out, I think, this year. <laughs> um, if you have questions, leave them down below. Uh, if you want to shop anything from Portland Leather, I hope you'll consider shopping with my affiliate link doesn't cost you anything, but if you route to the website, it lets Portland Leather know that I sent you. 
and I would get a small commission off of your purchase. There is a coupon code right now, flowers30. It's a Mother's Day coupon code. Good for everything off of the website. I think except except the almost perfect because those items are already deeply discounted, but flowers30 as of right now um, for Mother's Day 2023 will save you 30% off of your purchase. So it is a really great chance to try something. I have my eyes on the, what were they? They were like the Boho Wedge black sandals. Um, the, the, I want to call it a saddle bag, but it's the round leather cross body bag in storm. Oh my gosh. It looks so dreamy. Um, I definitely want one of the like dop keychains and a, what was it? I think like the Daisy wallet. There were a bunch of little things that I am putting on my wish list that I, I'm hoping the sale lasts just a little bit, a little bit past Mother's Day, but we'll see. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited about everything that I received. If you have gotten a mystery box in the past or you're getting one right now, let me know what have you gotten? What did you get? Let's talk about it in the comments. I am sold out. Make sure you are following Portland Leather. Make sure you are following their insider group on Facebook. That seems to be where everybody talks about all the things related to Portland Leather Goods. That is where the company seems to post a little insider like, sneak peeks and heads ups about sales and new products and stuff like that. So definitely check them out. I will link their Facebook group down below. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. I am going to do a few things over on Instagram. I'm going to ask the age old question, does it fit? I'll probably make a reel for that with both the cross body bag and with the tote and you know, post some pretty pictures over there of my new bags. So um, come hang out with me there. And if you wanna hang out with me again here on YouTube, I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you, treat yourself. You know, life is short. Don't go into debt, okay? Let's not make poor money choices, but I'm coming into a period where I just feel like it's better to have less but in greater quality. And if you are in that mindset, if you're in your 40s like I, well, like I will be, <laughs> uh, and you have a similar mindset, you know, Portland Leather might be the company for you. So definitely check them out. Subscribe to my channel. <sighs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.